Hello everyone, this is Grade 2, Module 8, Lesson 14, Homework. The directions for number 1 says, fill in the missing numbers. Um, so what we're doing for the uh, first row, and these are two separate rows, that will probably help you out. Uh, we're counting up and we're doing it by minutes. Um, and this is what we talked about in yesterday's lesson, how each uh, number on the clock... So if we look at the big clock, like this number, this number, and this number, there's five minutes between each of those. So we're going to skip count by five here. And I'll fill in uh, some of these as we go. So we have zero, which is right here, five, which is the one, ten, which is the two, and so on. So we have 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and 60, because there's 60 minutes in an hour, or in one hour. So for this one, two, we're not going to continue on. We're starting up, and we're skip counting going down. So our first number is 60, and then we have 55, and then 50, and then 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, and so on, all the way down to zero. So now, let's go over to the clock, or just below to the clock, and I'll start helping you fill in. So we're starting at zero, and now we have five, which is connected there to the one. This is 10, this is 15, 20, 25, 30, and so on. We need to keep filling this in because we're counting by five. So we're going to get all the way around the clock counting by fives. And these are the minutes that you're going to write when you write your time. And notice we're going to get to 60 and that's the same as zero because at 60 minutes that's the next hour. So we have our clock filled in. Now we can start drawing some minute hands in on the clocks to match the correct time. So we can use this clock up above to help us. So I'll do uh, one of these. And we have the hour hands in. And it says 325. So I want to look on my big clock up above and find where 25 is. And I see it's right there, and it's at the 5. So I'm going to draw a big hand going to the 5. As close as I can. So that's what I'll do for the next two of them, is I'm looking just for 15, so I'm going to want to find that up here, and then 55, and I want to draw in my minute hand. And remember, the shorter hand is the hour hand, the longer hand is the minute hand. Let's take a look over at page two. And on page two, uh, we have a little bit to do here. Uh, four says draw the hour hands on the clock to match the correct time. So now it's we got the minutes in because they're the longer hands. Now I need to figure out uh, it's got a point to the 12 and when I do this I'm gonna draw the smaller hand. So for this one the next one I have 10 minutes already pointing there now I got a point to the hour so it's always gonna be this one for the hour and it's a short minute hand or the short hand hour hand pointing to the 10. 345. Minutes are already on there with the minute hand. I need to point to the 3 with the small hand. So for the last uh, real piece of this homework, uh, the last major piece, and we'll take a look at the bottom part is what time is it, but we want to draw the hour and minute hands in on the clocks to match the correct time. So the big thing to keep in mind, and I'll draw this off to the side, this is the hour hand, which is the smaller hand. This is your minutes, which is the bigger hand. So for 55, I need, it, I need to count by fives going around. And I know that 55 is going to be here. That's 55 minutes. And I need to be pointing to the 6, but I see it's past 6 o'clock. It's actually more towards 7. So I'm going to point it kind of in between 6 and 7. 
Uh, I'll do two more of these. One right here, 825. Uh, I know it's past uh, 8. 25 minutes, so I'm going to find 25 minutes, and I know I'm starting at 0, and 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, so there's the minute hand, which is right here, and then my 8 is my hour hand, and I know it's past 8 o'clock because it's 825, so i got to go a little past 8, and that's my hour hand, and we want to make sure, and I didn't do a very good job at it, so I'm going to fix it, that my hour hand is shorter than my minute hand. The last one we'll do is 7.45. So 45 is the minute, so I'm going to count by fives going around. I got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. That's my minute hand. And then the 7 is my hour hand, and I know it's past 7 because it's 7.45. So I'm going to draw it, and I'm going to point it past 7. Now down below, we'll do one of these, and then you can do the last part. So I need to find my hour hand, and that's going to be the first number. I'm going to have my two dots, and then my minutes after. So my hour hand is pointing to this first number, which I see it's between 1 and 2. So it's one something, it's not quite two, so it's still one o'clock, or one something, with some minutes left over. Now to get all the way down to this, for my minutes, I'm going to start up here at zero, and count. So zero, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five. Because each of those small ticks is one minute, but each major number, like one, two, three, four five, six, those are five minutes between them. So it's 135. That's what you'll do for the next one. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching, and good luck on the rest of your homework.